Hey guys, and welcome back. Well, Wendy Williams is gearing up for a new season of her talk show. And despite the trauma of 2020, she says she's still the same Wendy. Now, after shutting down studio production in March on her daytime talk show due to the corona pandemic, remember she went remote uh, for two months uh, hosting her show, Wendy at Home, from her New York apartment. Now, Monday, this coming Monday, Williams will return to her studio and a new set for her season 12 premiere. Now, although COVID-19 has altered many talk shows, Wendy Williams, 56, tells U.S. Today she's used to broadcasting from home because she had a 35-year career behind the microphone uh, on, and on the radio. Mm. Now, in, in 2009, she was inducted into the National Radio Hall of Fame. Now, if you can remember, her Wendy at Home show had kept the same chaotic energy. Now, Williams' home show opened with the host seated at a dining room table with eccentric decor in the background. Uh, her show featured her acting like her off-camera self, eating lamb chops or making deviled eggs. <laughs> now, the pandemic does not affect how we do our show. When I get out there and there's no audience and there's no co-host, it doesn't matter. Now, Wendy added that fans can expect the same Wendy, the same show. Now, while taping her show at home, uh, it was really out of uh, Wendy's, quote, comfort zone. Now, the TV personality says she didn't enjoy it because she doesn't like people in her house and she felt intruded upon. But went along with it anyway. Now, she took a break in May, citing Graves' disease at the time. Uh, but now she says that that wasn't the real reason she took a break. It was because everything became corny. Now, that's why she said that uh, she took that break because everything became corny. But on the other hand, people had said that she was had a nervous breakdown and she was put in the hospital for a psychiatric evaluation. <laughs> now, Wendy says that the pandemic hasn't affected her day-to-day -day life much. She says she's always been a germaphobic, but she misses seeing her friends and family and getting a hug or anything from a man. Now, she says she's also proud of losing 25 pounds and learning she can't pretend to be anyone but herself. Now, if you can remember, Wendy Williams uh, apologized to the LGBTQ community after she was telling men to stop wearing our R, as in women's skirts. Now, to that now, she says, I can only be me, period. Now, over her long career in radio and TV, she's been crowned the Shade Queen for her contentious comments. Now, she told Duchess Megan, nobody feels sorry for you. When she was under harsh scrutiny by British tabloids and cracked a joke about Hollywood therapist Amy Hardwick's death. But now Wendy Williams says uh, her candor is here to stay. Now, she says, I don't say anything that is not already out there. I have no time in my life to go through celebrity garbage cans and find their stories. Um, she says she loves her hot topic segment and appreciates her team's research. We're all grown people here, and if you don't put it out there, then we don't see it. But if you do put it out there, then we're going to dissect it and talk about it. Mm. Now, aside from that adversity, the year 2020 has brought on all of us. Wendy has always uh, been through a lot. From a public divorce to battling Gray's disease, falling out on stage, being under fire for making controversial comments. Uh, regardless of what life has thrown at her, the talk show host remains positive. Now, Wendy says, I'm happier than ever. You go through things in life. I have no regrets, but anything. But I'm here. I'm standing. And on September the 21st, I'll show y'all. Hmm. 
Well, all right, Miss Wendy. Miss Wendy is coming back strong, but now um, she said that uh, this one thing I don't agree with, and Wendy know better. Talking about the reason she stopped the uh, Wendy at home is because she was it was corny. Come on, Wendy. You were crying and throwing snot and just talking about crazy things and going off. And, you know, you was nuttier than a squirrel turd. You know? (laughs) Crazy as a roll, listen. And now you're trying to talk about, oh, it was just, it was corny and I'm doing this. Well, we're going to see. Mm-hmm. September 21st, I'll be have my eye on you. Then she just downplayed the uh, thing and about the guy's uh, clip lip. Uh, you know, she was one, just one step from being canceled. And now she's saying, uh, I'm going to be me. Well, we'll see, Miss Wendy. Everybody is replaceable. That means you too. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching my video. Hope that you will like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And as always in party, be blessed, y'all. Bye.